Meteorologist Ted Schmidt. If you missed Ted out on the weather patio earlier in the newscast, stay tuned because he'll be out there again in a little bit. And his tie was blowing around and our plants were blowing around. It's really windy. It out is there. very windy as promised. And it's also loud. The wind out mm -hmm. there, it gets loud when you have the tower overhead and the winds whipping through that. So it is one of those raucous, breezy, but mild days. And this is the last of these mild days. We've had a whole slew of them since last Sunday when we had temperatures in the upper 50s. Every day we've been at least uh, as warm as 50. 58 degrees more often than not 60 and again we are in the 60s now but this is the last day in the 60s a lot of wind ahead of the an approaching cold front watch the choppy waves from Lake Pepin that's live from our Lewis Auto camera from Lake City a few thin clouds a lot of sun and a lot of wind going on right now current gusts around the area approaching 50 miles per hour we likely will have at least one or two gusts I think beyond 50 miles per hour today Rochester 47 right now Mason City 45 and 41 in Dodge Center and Owatonna a lot of wind headed our way for the rest of today Gusts still in the strongest range until about 3 or 4 o'clock, slowly letting up a little bit, but still wind advisory goes until 7. So we're expecting gusts at least in that time frame beyond 40 miles per hour at times. Then finally after midnight, the winds become a little uh, more tame and eventually the winds dry, uh, uh, drop off altogether and things get a whole lot colder behind that front. But a wind advisory uh, just about the entire area is in. In fact, everybody in our, in our local viewing area now has been added to it. Up until 7 o'clock today, that is in effect. Thin veil of clouds ahead of that approaching cold front. Let's look at uh, satellite radar imagery. There's the cold front. As it draws closer to the area, the winds remain strong, usher, uh, ushering that warm air. And you can see the result of this temperature map. 64 in Rochester, Marshall 65 behind it. 30s, current reading, 35 in Minot and 36 in Grand Forks. That is headed our way. So by tomorrow, we will struggle to get into the 40s. We'll do it, but we'll get there in the afternoon, not as quickly as we have done in recent days. 64 in Rochester now, it's 63 in Mason City, 68 in Red Wing. It may feel a little cooler than that, uh, just a little bit, but the wind's 32, gusting to 47 miles per hour in Rochester. Right now, air pressure rapidly falling, dew point. 48 is that uh, cold front approaches a lot of wind a lot of warmth windy and mild today uh, above average temperatures still will be the 40s tomorrow 50s still a possibility for Saturday and Sunday but then things progressively get colder in the coming week in fact a big part of next week will be colder than average and that's average this time of the year barely in the 40s we're gonna be colder than the 40s next week but future track today a lot of wind a lot of thin clouds uh, temperatures in the 60s across the map uh, temperatures tonight begin to drop off after that cold front moves through around 5.30 or 6 o'clock. Skies clearing, temperatures dropping steadily from the 40s in the evening to the upper 20s by tomorrow morning. Winds diminish after midnight. Tomorrow, slight breeze, a lot of sun, temperatures in low and mid 40s. Then heading into Saturday, just a little bit of a southwest breeze starts pumping in some more warmth. Daytime temperatures in the low 50s. And Sunday looks similar. So things looking pretty decent over the weekend, just not as warm as this, but not as windy. 60s today. Steadily dropping to the upper 20s and then tomorrow slow climb to the 40s for the afternoon hours. Today, partly sunny, windy and mild, highs around 66, winds for the south at times 30, gusty to 50 miles per hour. So powerful winds. 28 tonight, windy and cold, partly cloudy, 28. Winds uh, really begin to drop off to less than 15 miles per hour after midnight, though. And then most is sunny tomorrow, winds around 10 miles per hour, so 42 for your Fridays. So not a bad uh, weather day to celebrate my birthday. It looks halfway <laughs> decent, not as warm, but we're good. It's happy with Saturday, with sunshine, that is. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, some sun, a couple of spotty showers Monday, maybe some snowflakes Tuesday. And by Thanksgiving, the turkey is either dancing or shivering. You have to look closely because we're going to be below freezing for a high temperature, and that is colder than anything we have had so far uh, since the beginning of the week, Jess. Yeah, that cold weather will help us burn off all the calories <laughs> of the feast. But happy birthday. We celebrated you, you with some ice cream this morning, and you got some good gifts. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah, I'm going to wear all the things this weekend. Well, you are so appreciated by both your team and I know so many people who are watching right now. So if you happen to see Ted out and about, give him some birthday love. Thank you, Jess. Yeah, tomorrow's a big day, but I can actually sleep in for my birthday. Yes. I haven't done that in a long time. We'll miss you tomorrow, but we'll <laughs> be thinking so of you. Thank you so much. You guys are great. Thanks. You are too.